century marks the first time in history where 50% of the global human population resides in urban centers. Urban centers that are supplied with water. Water is all around us in our built environment, and we are reminded on a daily basis about its importance for our livelihood, our well-being, and health. And yet, its, abundant, its availability has misguided us into its abundance, and its abundance into, into its misuse. We use toilets that use five, gra five gallons per flush, or we can use one that uses 1.5 gallons per flush. My thesis is on water conservation, a case study on the University Hospital of uh, Northern British Columbia, where I'm going to be using two different approaches to um, apply a water conservation. The first approach is a traditional approach, which basically uses a water audit. And traditionally, the water audit would be done by an auditor who would come in and would um, tell me where all my uh, water is being used into different processes, and he'll give me something similar to what I have presented here. And most often, he would tell me that you need to reduce your domestic water use by installing water-saving devices, such as a toilet I was talking about. And often, uh, such installation will help me save about 20 to 25 percent of my water saving, which is great. But my water auditor is biased with his knowledge and his exposure, and he might be biased like I am with different toilets here, and not think about faucets or sinks. And 25 to 20, 20 to 25 is not that great. So what I did was look at my, different, my second approach, and I adopted one from the industrial sector. And it basically is a water cascade analysis. And what's great about it is it builds on some of the knowledge that's already been done by the auditor with the breakdown, but it also maximizes on opportunities of reuse, recycle, and regeneration. And in order to successfully do these, you have to think of flow rate into each process, time to property. And for me, in my hospital case study, my property that I'm looking at is the COD BOD, which basically looks at purity, because I'm concerned about my water quality. Um, often, water cascade analysis can yield about uh, 50 to 65 percent of water savings, which is much greater. Um, and hopefully, eliminating some of that bias that my auditor would have. So, <clears throat> this approach, if Successful can actually be applied to all different urban sectors or facilities, which include universities and uh, office buildings, and would help us conserve a lot more water than we have today. And just remember how one person uses their water impacts the water being used by somebody else.